YouTube, what's going on, Fist of Legend? I've had my 1911s out of the safe and uh, been doing a couple of videos that have involved this one, so I figure since I have them out, I might as well keep it moving. Um, I'm going to take a look at both of them. I'll probably just do uh, two part videos instead of trying to smash it all into 10 minutes. All right. But real quick, as you've seen before, we've got the Ultra Carry TLE 2 and the Pro Crimson Carry 2. All right. Three inch barrel, four inch barrel both considered compact 1911s. Uh, right off the bat I will say that this gun I probably put about 2500 rounds through it and this is by far the most accurate gun I own. Uh, it's just a great dependable weapon. I've never had a single jam, a single issue with it. Uh, contrary to common belief that Kimbers have a break-in period. Now most of the time when people refer to a break-in period they're referring to the small 3 inch model because the tolerances are so tight um, they say to expect between four and five hundred round break-in period. However, I have never fired a single shot through this one right here. This is my little safe queen. She sits in the safe, just looking pretty. All right. So since she's already been out in the light a little bit, I might as well finish out with her, and we'll get to this dude a little bit later. So we're gonna move him out of the way. As always, trust and believe. All my guns have been safety checked before they make it to this video stage. So I uh, believe this gun is safe. As I said, this is the stainless Ultra Carry TLE 2. The TLE stands for 30 line per inch checkered front strap. Nice little attention to detail, nice texture as well as look. And the dovetail mounted Kimber Meprolite Night Sights. All right. And the two at the end, the two series 1911s from Kimber uh, contain an integral locking block here that basically disengages the firing pin unless the grip safety is depressed. So just another added internal safety feature to uh, eliminate uh, negligent, negligent discharges. All right. And right off the bat, since I already have the gun flipped over on this side, you'll see that it does have the crimson trace laser grips. All right. Tactical the gray tactical double diamond grips power switch off and on for the laser and then the pressure switch right there to activate the laser All right. like I said this is the three inch barrel and this is a basically a one piece stainless steel match grade bull barrel All right, very very high quality considered a custom finish on some guns stainless steel slide with the silver satin finish. All right. Frame is milled out of a solid brick of 775 T7 aluminum. So very strong, very durable. They've run tests on these of over 20,000 rounds with no evidence of structural integrity, uh, damage to the structural integrity of the frame. All right. Aluminum match grade trigger and skeletonized hammer for optimum reduction in weight unloaded this gun's overall weight is 25 ounces and being that it's such a small gun uh, you would expect it to uh, obviously hold less rounds uh, but it's still in its single stack magazine you still get seven rounds in the magazine plus one in the chamber all right full-size guide rod and 18 pound recoil spring. All right, so it's a small gun. You see if my finger index down is almost all the way down the barrel. But uh obviously very very tight tolerances and custom grade finishes. Really nice guy. All right. Got your standard thumb safety and grip safety. So that's that. Now Kimber does send one of their uh infamous takedown tools. Some people say you can go ahead and use a paper clip. I advise against that. Uh, paper clips are really soft and because you have the 18 pound pull on the uh, recoil spring, paper clips are so soft that if you try to use this as a takedown tool, the 18 pound spring pulling against this can actually pull it into the guide rod housing and you can jam your gun. I've actually done that before. I'm embarrassed enough to say. Not on this, but uh, when I was first messing around with 1911s. All right. 
So real quick, I'm just going to attempt to do a quick breakdown of this gun while looking through the camera viewfinder. That can be a little tricky, uh, but I'm going to give it a shot. Trust me when I say it's a very simple process. I might make it look a little harder than it is, as I said, trying to look through this camera viewfinder, but it's really quite simple. All right. So as always, even though we know the gun is unloaded, we double check, triple check. All right. Nothing in there. This is a safe weapon. I see this little hole right here in the guide rod. So let's see if I can thread this in here looking through the camera viewfinder. Alright. So now that that's in there, we're going to gently release the slide. So it's pressing right up against that. Alright. And we've got the slide release lever. Alright. If you look on the back side, that's a little nub that you want to push this way. Now to those of you who know about 1911, this is average everyday info for you. Anyone who happened to stumble across this video and is not familiar with the 1911, maybe this will be helpful. See this little half cutout right here, this little half circle. You want to slide that over the end of the slide release lever so that it frees up the internal part of the slide release lever to pop out. All right. So I'm going to attempt to do this at an angle you can watch without dumping the tape down tool out of the hole. So let's see if we can do this. There we go. Okay, so we pop that out. Then let the slide go forward. Alright. Let me just slide it right off. Alright, now, if you look up here, this is a little too far in because it's over the outside ring around the guide pin, the guide rod housing on the frame of the gun. So. We'll just give it a little, and basically that means you can't remove it. All right, so we just put, apply a little bit of pressure with our thumb, push the recoil spring, and slide that. Now we can just pull it right out. All right, we've got the barrel link right here. And then the difference between this 1911 style and maybe the Glocks and the Sigs and Berettas and all that is you pull the barrel up and out this time, you push the link and slide the barrel out the front. All right. So that's it, and there's your components right there. So you can do your cleaning and your maintenance, oil and lube, and then flip it back around and put it right back together again. And this part could be the part that's a little tricky looking through the viewfinder, but let's see how we do. All right, there's the barrel link, and we'll show you where that is once we put this all back together. You make sure the notches in the guide rod and recoil spring assembly are face down on top of the barrel. Oops, I knocked the trigger, the uh, barrel link down. All right. Let me push it all the way forward. I'll take our frame. Make sure you can see that. Slide it back. Okay, now, if you look right in here, see if I can find it there is that little circle in there. You see if I move it this way and that way, that is that barrel link and we want that to be, see how the barrel is moved forward? So we want to push this back and give it a nice clip back and now it's in. All right, so you don't see anything impeding that circle. All right, then we take our slide release and we pop it in. And then once again, we line up the half circle and pop it right in. And you just heard the take down tool fall out because I tilted it forward so you guys could see it. We let it go forward. Release the hammer. Make sure it's functioning and we're good to go. All right. So that's it. Contrary to popular belief, very simple to break down. If I can do it through a camera viewer like that, anyone can do it once they get used to it, just holding it right in front of your face. Great, great, uh, what can I say? A great masterpiece. Very well machined. Give it a shake. You're not hearing any rattling. So that's it. That's a quick look. I'm going to end this video right here. We'll move on to the other one later. Again. Kimber 1911s.
Ultra Carry 2, Crimson Carry 2. That's a YouTube be safe.